dear colleagues, excellencies, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me to welcome you very warmly to our site event on persons with Down syndrome towards better practices in fighting discrimination and favoring inclusion on the occasion of the World Down uh, Syndrome Day and the margins of the 37th Human Rights Council. Poland is proud to be one of the co-organizers of this event and our continuous support only proves the commitment of my country to the promotion of rights and freedoms of persons with the Down syndrome. World Down Syndrome Day observed each 21st March since 2012 provides a unique opportunity to raise awareness and promote the rights of persons with this disability. UN Secretary General marked uh, World Down Syndrome Day last year with an empowering message, including the words, persons with disabilities, including those with Down Syndrome, are more than persons in need of assistance. They are agents of change who can drive progress across society. And their voices must be heard as we strive to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. The goal of our event today is to answer the UN Secretary General's call in giving persons with Down syndrome a platform to be heard by the international community. Poland believes that self-advocates play a crucial role in promoting their own rights and we fully align ourselves with the notion nothing about us without us. The best way to change negative social attitudes towards people with disabilities is just to get to know their personal stories. It's just allow the community to see human beings, not the numbers, not the quantities, but just human beings. The overreaching to the theme of this event, persons with Down syndrome towards better practices in fighting discrimination and favoring inclusion, goes hand in hand with the idea behind the Sustainable Development Goals to leave no one behind. In fact, the success of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development will depend, among other elements, on advancement in bringing about, in the context of social, economic, and political inclusion, the most vulnerable groups, among them people with syndrome, uh, with the Down uh, syndrome. As such, it is our duty, it is a duty of us all, the international organizations, governments, civil societies, business and individuals, to carry out activities supporting the creation and strengthening of an inclusive environment for all persons with Down syndrome, both adults and children, and to enable their full participation in their, in their communities. Last but not least, we should not forget about supporting families raising children with Down syndrome with a view to their physical and psychological uh, well-being. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, meetings like the one today only confirm the engaging of the whole society in a condition, is a condition sine qua non to help persons with Down syndrome to exploit their potential in education, in labor, on the labor market, and to conduct an independent and, and happy life, independent and happy everyday life. In Poland, there are approximately 60,000 persons with Down syndrome. We attach great importance to the implementation of policies, plans, programs, and actions at the national and regional level to give equal opportunities to persons with disabilities. There exists a comprehensive national legal framework which enables the promotion and protection of rights of persons with disabilities, including persons with the Down syndrome. The recent legal developments in Poland in the field of the rights of persons with disabilities include the adoption of the government's program of family support called For Life. It introduced solutions aiming to aid pregnant women, ensure early support for the child and its family, as well as to provide for supporting and rehabilitation services. 
The program was developed in close cooperation with, with the persons with disabilities and institutions working to the, benefits of, to the benefit of those individuals. Furthermore, the Polish government is currently developing an all-encompassing 2018-2030 strategy for the persons with disabilities, whose main purpose is to increase the participation of disabled people in social and professional life. It will be based on the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Uh, and uh, the issues like running, raising, health, education, rehabilitation, work, employment and social services will be covered by this strategy, by this very document. It's very important that similar strategies are regularly adopted at local government's uh, level, making the rights of persons with disabilities, including those with the Down syndrome, remain in the focus of the Polish administration of all times. The administration just does not overlook the existence uh, of people with disabilities. In the same vein, Poland continues to implement good practices at both national and regional levels through non-governmental organizations. In fact, there are more than 20 entities in Poland bringing together thousands of volunteers supporting persons with trisomy 21. These good practices include organizing training workshops, issuing quarterly publications on the subject matter, providing counseling, hosting helplines, to those who seek help and, and many more. And globally, the situation of people with Down syndrome is improving owing to the implementation of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which Poland ratified in 2012. Yet there is still much to be done, even within the UN. That's why it is so important to inform on the reality of living with Down syndrome through first-hand witness statement from persons with Down syndrome and discuss the challenges those persons uh, and their families, uh, as well as pregnant uh, uh, mothers, continue to, to, to face in their everyday uh, lives. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to conclude by reiterating that Poland will continue its efforts to further promote and protect human rights of all, in particular those with disabilities, as we believe this is a, that an inclusive environment is the, the benefit to the whole community. Thank you very much for your attention.